October November 2022 paper 5 very long question 1 this question is quite easy and uh, uh, the answer that show later it will be uh, same as the mark scheme uh, what I'm going to do is just to explain more and let you all learn faster and can understand better uh, on this question okay let's start this question is start with the solid mixture uh, which consists of the magnesium chloride and the magnesium nitrate and 1.5 gram of the mixture was taken and after that uh, uh, dissolved in the distilled water okay once it dissolved so excess of silver nitrate solution added so when the silver nitrate solution added we know that uh, chloride ions that in the solution will form precipitate with the silver ion so it's uh, white precipitate okay, silver ions with chloride ion form white precipitate after that, we need to filter the solid mixture and wash the precipitate with distilled water. Uh, the washing part is very important because uh, the solid, it might contaminate with the, the other's salt. So we need to use distilled water to wash the silver chloride solution. So therefore, those uh, salt like the magnesium chloride and magnesium nitrate will remove. After that, uh, we need to dry the precipitate in the oven and after that, uh, weight the precipitate and record the mass. So once, once we get the mass of the, the silver correct, we'll get the mold. Once we get the mold, we can get the moles of others. Okay, so this is the whole experiment about. So now, one student in the class obtains the following result. Okay, after the experiment finished, so now the student get this, uh, the mass of silver chloride is 3.63 gram after drying. And the mass of solid mixture that uh, he used is 1.52 gram. So use these two in four to calculate the mole. For part A1, calculate the mole of the magnesium chloride present in the sample. In order to calculate the magnesium chloride, so we need to calculate the moles of the silver chloride that form. Because it's now 3.63 grams obtained, so we use the mass over its smaller mass, we will get this mole. Uh, when you try to use the moles, or when you try to calculate something, it's better for you to keep more decimals. More is better because it's more uh, accurate. Okay, once you get these moles of silver correct, so the moles of magnesium correct, therefore it must be half, because we know that uh, one mole of magnesium correct will form these two moles of silver correct. Means it's one to two mole ratio. So when we get the most of silver chloride, then the magnesium chloride is it must be halved. So therefore, the most that we obtain uh, just now, okay, times half, so is the most of magnesium chloride. So now the magnesium chloride we get is zero point zero one two six five seven. Okay, so we use this one for part two to calculate the uh, the percentage uh, by mass. Okay, so calculate the percentage by mass of magnesium chloride in the mixture. So uh, first we need to get the mass. Because we already get the mole in the this part one. So use this one as a reference. So mole is equal to mass over molar mass. When we want to get the mass of the magnesium chloride, so we must use the moles times the molar mass. Means use this mole times molar mass so we get the mass of the magnesium chloride in the mixture which is uh, 1.2062 gram and use this mass over the mass that 
uh, they could miss the the mass of the mixture okay it's 1.52 here so must use 1.52 don't use 1.5 because 1.5 is from the this procedure don't use this use the results that obtained uh, uh, by the uh, students one uh, 1.52 okay so uh, 1.2062 over 1.52 times 100 percent so you get uh, about 79.36 uh, percent part b1 suggest what the student could do in step two to ensure all the solid dissolves as quickly as possible it's very easy uh, the fastest uh, or the easiest one is to stir the mixture right because solid dissolve in the solution right so uh, to stir it is of course faster and it's better or we can increase temperatures of the water so increase the solubility but sometimes it has to depend on the enthalpy part two explain why the precipitate uh, was washed with distilled water before it was dry okay as i told you just now uh, because the silver chloride it might contaminate by the magnesium nitrate and the silver nitrate okay so therefore uh, we must um, we must uh, uh, watch the silver chloride with distilled water so therefore these two can be removed later right because these two they are soluble so when we wash the silver chloride so these two will remove part three suggest why the precipitate is dry in an hour and not direct heat with a bunsen burner uh, so bunsen burner the temperatures uh, is that involved is uh, relatively high so the silver chloride might decompose okay if this silver chloride decompose the mass that obtained is uh, not uh, not accurate so that's why we want to dry this silver chloride in the in the oven uh, normally the temperatures that we use in oven uh, may sometime is uh, uh, about 80 80 uh, or 90 degrees C uh, which is relatively low compared to the Bunsen burner uh, temperature so therefore it's always good to dry a solid in an oven so therefore it will not easily decompose right so the answer is this huh? it is uh, dry in oven to avoid thermal decomposition of the silver correct C part one. Uh, in step one, a small pickle was weighed using a balance accurate to two decimal places, and it is mass recorded. The sample was placed in the pickle, and the mass of the pickle increased by one point five two gram. So obviously, uh, this one is involved uh, the two readings. So we're going to use a final readings minus the initial reading so we get the, the mass so means uh, actually the balance uh, was read two times now because it's uh, is uh, two decimal places uh, balance so means uh, is uh, to 0 0.00 and the minimum value that could be measured is actually 0 0.01 gram means uh, when we want to measure something the minimum value or the mass that we can measure is 0 0.01 gram or we can actually say this one 0 0.01 gram is the smallest scale division means it's the lowest not not low it's not about the 0 0.00 this is lowest but the one that can we can measure is 0 0.01 gram means the one that we can get let's say we want to measure something the smallest that we we could get is 0 0.01 gram okay if we have this a uh, smallest uh, skill division so in order to find its uncertainties that is half of this gram so when we have a smallest uh, division so we just half it we will get uncertainties so it's plus minus uh, 0 0.005 
Okay, to calculate this percentage error, so we must use two times of 0 0.005 because two times is we read two times, two readings taken times the uncertainties over uh, over the mass of the solids that uh, obtained means the the one that uh, used in the experiment 1.52 okay, times 100 percent so you get 0.66 percent this is how you calculate percentage error part two other than changing the balance state how the percentage error could be reduced using larger uh, okay, this one percentage error how to reduce uh, so we use larger mass of the solid mixture why okay as you can see from this calculation to calculate percentage error we <clears throat> if we use a larger mass of the solid let's say now it's not 1.52 let's say it's 2.52 or higher so when the mass of these solids that uh, measure is higher the the error percentage error is actually lower so therefore the better way means to improve the accuracy or to reduce the percentage error we can use the larger mass of the solid mixture part three state what could be done in step five to ensure all the precipitate was completely dry uh, in order to make sure it's completely dry uh, this is a very uh, uh, what I call the uh, standard way to do it we must dry that solid and let's say we dried it for uh, five hours or six hours take it out and measure again after that we dry again and measure again to see whether it's reached constant mass or not this is very important because we must make sure all the waters removed Right, so this is answer. Continue drying and reweight until constant mass. Part D. Another student in the class did not dry their silver chloride. Okay, if let's say now silver chloride not dry means uh, inside uh, got water, so the mass will be larger, larger than the 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 one that's supposed to be because. Uh, now uh, extra water inside there okay state how this would affect the values of percentage by mass of magnesium chloride in the sample uh, this is very easy actually uh, first if let's say we get a larger mass of the silver chloride the most that we calculate is more and the most of the magnesium chloride also going to be higher so more moles of magnesium chloride and therefore the mass that uh, that will be calculated is uh, is larger so when the mass of magnesium chloride is larger then percentage of this magnesium chloride in the sample will be greater so that's all thank you